Deep in the House is a survival horror game for Pico 8. Let's give it a look. Welcome to Pico Playtime, the video series where I play through some cool Pico 8 games to show to you lovely people. Today is a special Halloween edition of Pico Playtime. So we're going to be playing a horror game. Yes, this is Deep in the House by Flytrap Studios, a survival horror game for Pico 8. That's not a sentence you get to say very often. Let's give it a look. So you've got a really cool um, title screen on this. I always love the title screen. It's, I spend... Countless hours across the all the videos in this channel talking about title screens. This is a nice one though. Look at those little drops of blood. Horrifying. Yes, uh, we're doing um, Halloween games because it's nearly Halloween. So here's a spooky game. Um, yeah, this is a survival horror game. If you can imagine what Resident Evil might have been like if it was released for the NES in 1989, this game gives you a very good idea about that. Let's get started then. So there are two difficulties. Casual if you want to be able to respawn after dying, and horror. You only have one life. Now, this is a horror game. It's Halloween, and also, I want to keep these videos relatively short, so I'm going to be playing horror, so that if I die, I just die. I also don't want to spoil too much about this game, because um, that would spoil it for you, and you should experience this game the way it was intended. Whatever. Anyway, we've got a lovely intro to the game. This late night walk back home is proving more taxing than anticipated. Shaking from the cold weather, you notice an old house with an open front door. It's a little off the path, but the opportunity of finding shelter is too tempting to pass up. You walk towards the door. Classic horror set up here. There's a spooky house. Uh, here's our character. Um, and we will shortly get... There we go. Now we've got control. So we've got a very simple tutorial here just to show us how to walk around. How to get onto the inventory. Yes, this game has an inventory and that looks very familiar to anyone who's played uh, Resident Evil or Silent Hill even. Um, yeah, we've got an inventory. We've got items that we can find and we can run. That'll be useful for running away from things. Anyway, let's go inside the um, Home Alone symbol house and get started. So, we are locked in and the spooky music starts. Yes, this is a horror game, everyone. Um, so we can move up and down ladders, we can move side to side. We've got a kind of, um, that kind of very flat Castlevania style look to the um, the 2D graphics. Really works though, I think. Um, we can enter rooms, thusly. Um, there are some um, items and objects that we can um, investigate. Hey honey, I'll arrive late this evening. Could you please set the table for our guests? Thanks, Mike. Uh, Mike, possibly of Mike and the Mechanics, maybe Mike Stocklaza, who knows? Um, anyway, um, giving us some ideas as to what we should be doing. So, I think this is where I need to start, I mean, to go to start with. Um, there's some rather spooky um, green splats on the wall there. Nothing to worry about, I'm sure. Um, yeah, let's carry on. Oh, there is a key. That might be useful, mightn't it? Um, you got the kitchen key, and it's a horror game, so of course the lights go out. Oh dear. So we've got this lovely um, kind of lighting effect here, which um, lets us um, see where the enemies come from. And yes, these zombies, these zombies um, chase after you. Uh, fortunately, they're quite easy to um, to get around. <laughs> um, there'll be more of them later. Don't you worry yourself. Anyway, now that we've got the key, let's leave those zombies alone. Don't really want to um, mess about with them yet, seeing as we can only attack them with stern words and our natural good looks, I'm not sure. Um, let's find what to do with this key. So, this isn't an enormous horror game, it's fairly short, you can probably clear it quite quickly. Uh, I don't want to show you all of the game, but yeah, you are going to have to bumble around somewhat to find where you're needing to go. Now, I tried to record this video and then realised that I hadn't set up the video seen properly at all so i had to do it again so i've kind of played through some of this already so i am kind of going in the right direction oh that was lucky i actually forgot it was that door and um, so we have um entered what looks to be the kitchen and there's still some splats on the wall i'm not very happy about and um, let's find out though more about this um this mike fellow hey mike i found this tool that can help with the webs downstairs 
the webs downstairs. Webs, spider webs. That's not um, that's not at all horrifying, is it? Uh, don't think of cutting anything else with it. The blade is completely dull. By the way, what's with this green gun kind of being seen around the house? It's hard to clean. So yes, we have found a weak knife. I don't think a weak knife would be very effective against the zombies. Um, I don't particularly want to find out how ineffective it is. I'm going to take the game's word for it. Hopefully I won't need to use it if we can be um, sneaky sneaky. Locked. So yeah, we um, need to find some keys. I really love the, um, the kind of corona effect we've got on the light there. Really nice. Uh, I think there's a lazy devs tutorial about how to do this similar effect if you want to put it into your game. Go and check it out. Anyway, let's find what we should do next. I believe, yes, of course, the spider webs are downstairs in the cellar. Oh, this isn't ominous at all. I haven't talked enough about the graphics. Let's just go back to that previous room. Because um, I think the graphics in this are really, really nice. It's so evocative. Um, this. This is really what Resident Evil would have looked like if it came out on an 8-bit machine. Um, it just looks so good. And the sound effects as well. We've just got footsteps for the moment, but listen to the footsteps when we go into the um, the echoey basement. Different footsteps. That's a nice attention to detail there. So, a thick web blocks the way. We can use our weak knife. Um, it's apparently strong enough to cut through the webs, but not through much of else. Um, there we go. So to um, use the knife, we um, hold the um, what key is that? The X key. Yeah, I'm using a PlayStation controller. It's backwards for me. The cross is actually the circle, and the circle is the cross. Anyway, we hold the um, X key, and we can press left or right to um, stab. I'm sure that will be useful for fighting zombies later on. Possibly, we need a better knife though if we're going to do that. And there, uh, of course, there are spiders. Um, let's um, let's deal with these spiders. Don't want to have to deal with those. Um, we have got health in this game, so um, don't really want to be losing too much of the health. Anyway, that was okay. Oh my god. Oh god. Ow. <laughs> oh no, the spiders. Oh. Right, we took some... We're on low health. Right, I need to not get killed by the spiders. Good effective use of music there. Oh god, that was close. Effective use of the music there, and that was quite alarming, wasn't it? And for our troubles, we've got ourselves a dining room key. Oh my. Now this is another nice touch. Notice how we're low on health, and there's a heartbeat there, just to make things that little bit more tense. Anyway, we need to find the dining room now, which I think, is it this one here? Yes, here we go. Okay, let's have a look around. Bedroom. Interesting. You look tired. Maybe we should go for a sleep. He is covered in some kind of gunk. Yes, there seems to be a zombie or a man plastered to the wall with green gunk. A med kit. That's going to be useful. Let's use that right away. There we go. We're fine. We're fine. The secret hideout is cool as heck. I'm keeping it, Mike. Why would a house need a secret hideout, Mike? Anyway. Where are we here? Mike keeps a dagger in the room above. He says it's for his protection. It's locked behind a secret combination. I can't even get near it. Why would he need a dagger anyway? Uh, okay. Out. Too close to those zombies there. Oh dear. So yeah, if you're behind the zombies, then you can kind of sneak around them. Nice simple stealth mechanics there, I like it. Oh, this is a good little puzzle. Classic Resident Evil puzzle here. We have got some um, kind of, what are they, like doors or something that are blocking our way. And as you can see, different switches move different blocks. Now, I've done this puzzle once before, but I don't feel like I did it very well. There we go. That was lucky. See, if you can remember that combination, then yeah. Have fun with that puzzle. Really cool puzzle, by the way. Every time we pick up a knife, the lights go out. This is just not on. <laughs> I 
Anyway, we've got our dagger now. This is hopefully a little bit more um, capable of dealing with these zombies. That's um, classic Resident Evil knife action here. Lovely gore explosion as well on those zombies. Really nice. Oh, there's so many zombies on this level. Okay, let's um, deal with that guy. Uh, I think we'll leave him. Can we just get past it? No, no. Oh dear. No, that was bad. <laughs> Do we need to go down there now? Oh, that's the bedroom, isn't it? Ooh. How spooky. The lights have gone out. Hmm. Let's, um, let's continue on our merry way. Okay, this... Oh, oh no. No, that was bad. No. <laughs> that was silly. Low health. Where are we here? This looks ominous. Ooh, the echoey... The lights keep going out. I have no idea why. <laughs> I'll check the fuse box just in case. Right, we don't want to deal with any spiders that we don't have to deal with. Oh, there's so many zombies. Oh, there's there's a guy on the wall there. Oh, we've got another um, kind of combination lock type. Oh, is it like a door or something? Anyway, there's another one of those blocking our way. The um, restricted vision really does help add to the horror. Oh, that will be the um, the air uh, that's blocking our way. What's that? You replaced a blown fuse. Okay, cool. Different. Oh, oh, of course the zombies are gonna fall off the walls. <laughs> right. <laughs> that was a nice little touch there, by the way. There we go. We're okay. We can progress. Oh, there's one of our spider friends. Let's try and get this right. We need to go left, I think, don't we? Okay. So far, so good. Locked. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, those spiders are creepy. I like these little switch puzzles. These are nice. More of those, please. We have another key for the basement. Haven't we already been there? Maybe there's another basement. This is a spooky house after all. Okay. Oh, is it? it's probably that, isn't it? Oh, no! 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 You died. <laughs> Or I died. Anyway, such a fun game. This was um, Deep in the House by Flytrap Dev. I've covered um, a couple of Flytrap's games on this channel already. Witch Loves Bullets, another Halloween favourite. A lovely little um, side scrolling shooter. And also Metroid Cubevania, I believe it was called. A rather nice Metroidvania. Anyway, this is a really fun little um, survival horror game for Pico 8. There really needs to be more games like this on Peek Away. It works so well. Anyway, I died. Maybe you can get a bit further than I can. Maybe I should stick to casual difficulty. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. Uh, go and check out the game. Um, there's a link to the itch page. Not Sorry, not the itch page. There's a link to the BBS page. I've got the wrong link at the bottom there. Oops. And uh, I'm not doing this video again, though. Um, yeah, click on the link, try the game out, give the developer a follow over on Twitter, and let them know on the BBS what a cool game they've made. Uh, very fun game. Anyway, I hope you have a lovely, spooky, horrifying Halloween. I'm going to go and eat pumpkins or eat the sweets that we're supposed to give to the trick-or-treaters or something. I'm going to do something Halloween related anyway. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon.